So one of the hot topics at the moment is why the Suzuki method over other methods. Now I'm not saying that there are anything wrong with any of the other methods out there, but the Suzuki method holds a special place in my heart because as the recent article in the Strad has said, it's a very gentle way to teach music. Before that, it was always thought that a high level of musical education had to come with a certain amount of strictness, with a certain amount of harshness almost, and that you had to be broken in order to be rebuilt as a fantastic musician. And the Suzuki method came about as a much gentler way to achieve the same high standards. Now also, one of the things that's different from other methods is the learning by ear, right? So someone explained it to me like this, that is in another method where you read first, you're learning the music from the outside and then eventually you have to put it inside yourself, okay? But with the Suzuki method, you learn by your ear first Right? Just like you do as a baby, you hear the words first before you learn to speak them, before you learn to read them, okay? And that way, you're learning from the inside out. The music is already in here, the words are already in here, and you learn to make them come out. And then, when we introduce the music later on, you learn how that connects to what you see on the page, just like we do as young children learning to speak.